সুপ্রিয় দর্শক শ্রোতা আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক টু মিলেনিয়াম টিভি ওয়েলকাম টু দ্য স্পেশাল এপিসোড উইথ ডক্টর আলাম আই হ্যাভ এ ভেরি স্পেশাল গেস্ট টুনাইট আই উইল বি ইন্ট্রোডিউসিং টু আওয়ার অডিয়েন্স অ্যান্ড স্পেশালি ইট ইজ অ্যাজ অফ অ্যাকচুয়ালি নভেম্বর টোয়েন্টি এইট টোয়েন্টি টোয়েন্টি উই আর এট দ্য ভেরি ফার্স্ট আওয়ার রাইট এট Uh, I have a very special guest, uh, uh, Mr. Muhammad Alungir Hussain. He joined from Virginia. Especially, he is actually running for the chairman of the FOBANA, the Federation of Bangladeshi Associations in North America. And Mr. Alungir is a very long-standing community leader with a long of dedicated uh, leadership within the social organization, within the uh, you know community activism and lot of great initiative have been committed and contributed to the community as you know this fobana 2020 the elections and as mr mohammed alungir is running for the uh, chairman of this fobana so tonight we will figure out what is the shape and the culture look like 2020 fobana and the future leadership of fobana as you know this fobana actually has been uh, scheduled to continue and complete and inaugurate its executive meeting today november 28 2020 and there will be voting and electing the new leadership on the next day which is november the 28th on this day and this very election there are uh 61 executive voting members in the current fobana and there are total 31 posts and within that 31 positions about 56 people are running and competing in separate positions mr mohammed alungir is running for the chairman of fobana and there are other positions open including the vice chairman and there are other joint secretary and secretaries and many other positions along with the treasurers. I have the privilege to meet with Mr. Mohammed Alongir uh, as in his profession. He's a professional and he has been done so much for our community. Mr. Mohammed Alongir, how good to see you and how nice to have you and the Bangladesh American North American associations in North America, the federation that they're looking and hoping to have you their next uh, chairman for the next term. Welcome to Millennium TV, uh, Mr. Mohammed Alungir. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, uh, Dr. Rabbi Alung. And uh, it's nice to be here with you. It's my pleasure. And uh, you have uh, given a very uh, good uh, introduction of me. And also, I want to mention here that I was uh, an immigration attorney for a long time. And I have practiced law in this country for many years. Uh, right now, I'm uh, working with uh, many organizations as a uh, social activist, as well as I'm, uh, I was uh, vice chairman of Fubana, as well as advisor of Fubana for many years. So uh, I'm glad to be here with you today. Absolutely. Also, Mr. Mohammed Alungir, uh, you uh, been involved with the Greater uh, uh, Washington DC, the Bangladeshi American Association, and uh, politically, uh, you are one of the uh, joint convener for the uh, one of the uh, founding fathers of Bangladesh uh, organizations, the uh, Bangabandhu Purishad, and your great leadership and your uh, dedicated, uh, you know, past arriving this country uh, with a student visa, then acquiring all these tools and achieving the success and then helping so many people within your scope and capacity, being an attorney and helping those who need help within the immigration. Thank you so much. My hat's off. And really, I appreciate what you have done. I wish you all the best, but I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. See, what do you think? Uh, why people should come and why not people should choose the other person and they should be choosing you 
And I know if I had the vote, I would definitely uh, give my vote to you. You know, it's an open matter. Uh, your quality, your contribution, your commitment, your dedication, what you have done for the community, it is very widely open. And there are a lot of talking, good talking in the Facebook, social media about your leadership. Uh, so right now, just please give us and tell us a few points that uh, what's going on within the Fobana that we can reunite and you will be the next Fobana chairman, Mr. Alangir. Uh, thank you so much. And it is a very core uh, question, I would say, and it is an important question to answer as well. Uh, I would uh, uh, say uh, first that uh, uh, when I was practicing law, uh, and helping people in the community and uh, not in the community limited to uh, uh, Washington, D.C. or Maryland or Virginia area. I have rep represented uh, Bangladeshis all over the United States. There is no such state that I have not represented people and helped people. Uh, so uh, I have a uh, interest and respect for people and uh, when I came to this country as a student and became attorney, uh, I always think of uh, helping our people because uh, when I was in Bangladesh, I went to university and uh, I was financed by uh, uh, Bangladesh uh, government as well as uh, uh, people uh, where I did not spend money for my education. But here, I, when I came, uh, obviously I saw that how expensive education is here. So when I uh, look at in uh, our country that when we became independent from a struggle uh, where uh, 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 and uh, how could we help our country? And I thought immigration law or practicing immigration law would be a better area to help our people. And that is why I choose immigration area to practice and help people. Uh, when I was uh, helping people, uh, I became also involved with association and I was helping directly or indirectly, uh, uh, not participating in the pro uh, process. I was not a president or secretary of any organization, but I was always helping them, assisting them, advising them. But there was a time when I became a little free, I had some time to contribute a uh, little more directly with this. And then I became president of uh, Bangladesh Association of Greater Washington, D.C., which is the most, uh, I mean, I would say largest organization in D.C. area. And uh, at that time, I uh, was uh, involved with a lot of uh, social work, a lot of humanitarian work, as well as uh, cultural program. So uh, as a member of uh, Fobana organization, uh, Bagdisi was also a uh, Fobana uh, organization. Uh, uh, Fobana is an organization that umbrella of all Bangladeshi organization. So uh, because I uh, hosted a Fobana convention and I was also a convener as well as president of uh, the host committee. So uh, as a, uh, I mean, by virtue of that uh, position, I became also the uh, chairman as well as vice chairman of Fubana. And uh, basically that is how I uh, became involved in Fubana. And then I was in another fraction of Fubana. Uh, and uh, when uh, in 2013, we, uh, 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 had a histone accord called uh, unification uh, process that took place. And I was one of the chief architect of unification in uh, histone accord. We call it as a histone accord. And from that uh, uh, point, we became united and uh, Pobana became much uh, wider and uh, bigger and larger. So that is how I became more involved in uh, Pobana. And uh, there was a time that I uh, was uh, uh, vice chairman of Fobana in three consecutive years, as well as I was uh, chairman of legal committee for uh, five years from 19, I mean, 2013 to 2018. 
So I kind of um, fall into love with Fubana because people are nice and they are very cultural, dedicated people, and they are widely, uh, you know, uh, Bangladeshi citizen and believe in our country as well as our culture and you know our uh, heritage. So that attracted me so much to get into this Fubana uh, Federation. Absolutely, absolutely. Dear viewers, just uh, I just want to introduce this uh, gentleman uh, who been serving the community. I know you are running against a man. I just don't want to uh, tell you this: uh, how disgrace uh, for the you know upcoming generation, upcoming community. Really, uh, the Fobana is a place where all Bangladeshi organizations, association, they unite and they you know flourish and to strive at that you know dignity uh, you know uh, some people should not be even running that position and i'm sorry to tell you that the guy you were running against it's just a, a disgrace why you when you are having that uh, uh, election there uh, it is uh, you know quite uh, challenging uh, to tell you that it is very wide open and known to our community our society uh, the person you are running against uh, is not worthy to really serve in that big and broader scale uh, to the Fobana where there is a you know united voice and leadership and calibration look at you you graduated from Dhaka University you have been educated here in America been practicing and helping in the legal etiquettes and legal field and then your leadership will help really to take it to the next level. I'm just trying to build you a, a, a point here, which is, you know, 2022. Next following forward, if you see how the American politics, how it is shaping our youth and second generation, next generation, younger generation are getting much more involved in the American politics. What do you see a incorporation to helping our youth into that uh, you know agenda that they will well fit in it mr mohammed alugir uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for this question uh, first of all i would say that uh, Fubana const constitution uh, and bylaws allows people uh, who are member of the Fubana federation can uh, run for any position or election and such. Of course, there are criteria, I mean, uh, that uh, you'll have to meet. So uh, in general, I mean, when there is election and if somebody has the minimum qualification to run for that position, uh, constitutionally, nobody can stop uh, him or her. But uh, at the same time, uh, it is Fubana's organization. That means, uh, as I said, Fubana is a uh, federation, uh, federation of all the organization. So all these organization will decide who will be the next uh, chairman of Fubana. So it uh, totally uh, depends uh, on the votes uh, that who will be getting the highest vote. But as far as candidacy is concerned, obviously, uh, I mean, uh, you know, the person who is running against me, uh, obviously he met uh, the criteria uh, to run for this position. Now, uh, I would leave it to our uh, members who uh, will decide who will be the uh, uh, winning candidate. But I would uh, also uh, uh, answer your other uh, uh, question or concern that uh, obviously um, this is a federation and you will be supervising 60 or 70 organization all over the United States. And most of these organizations in, uh, in different cities, people are uh, professional, educated, and um, there are a lot of young people who will be uh, working with the local uh, house of representative school boards or any mainstream uh, position. 
So uh, obviously, education is a very important uh, area, and um, and also if someone is not that qualified, certainly it would be difficult uh, for us to co-op with all the community work and as well as uh, have the ability to work with the professional people as well as um, uh, will have to have the ability to work with mainstream. So I uh, have uh, full confidence on uh, our voters and I will, uh, I would uh, trust them. I would believe that they will uh, vote uh, for the best candidate uh, for the Fuvana. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much, actually. That was my concern that where we have our upcoming young generation, our second generation, they're highly educated. Uh, and also with a very uh, dedicated communities. And now you are not like uh, representing a small regional, you know, organizations. Uh, so that was my question. But thank you. You 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 answered very uh, eloquently that yes, leave it on to your voters, your members, and executive, uh, you know, members. So they will decide definitely. Uh, the next question I want to ask you actually, can I? It's just uh, give me idea. Is there within the Fobana any sorts of integration to create some type of uh, you know branches that they will be incorporating with the mainstream uh, election electoral process, educating our communities and having some type of uh, you know uh, subcommittee within the Fobana that they will be uh, you know kind of you know, within, within the mainstream, they are uh, lobbying or creating such type of, uh, you know, department. Thank you. It is a very uh, interesting question. Uh, first of all, let me tell you that Kuban has uh, 26 uh, standing committee. We call it subcommittee, whatever, you, uh, whatever way you describe, such as those committees are uh, as a legal committee, mainstream committee, uh, unification committee, scholarship committee. So uh, we have different names, but for mainstream uh, uh, committee, we have a chair who will be coordinating with all the uh, organization in the US that uh, uh, are interested to work with the uh, government, with the mainstream. Uh, as I said, you, you know, we want to uh, see uh, our young people uh, become more interested in mainstream politics. And uh, obviously, you have to understand that Fubana is a non-political organization. It is a cultural and social organization. We cannot participate or uh, endorse or denounce any uh, political uh, party. However, when there is a Bangladeshi origin, competing any uh, election or competing any uh, anywhere, county level or house of representative. Uh, what we want to do or we do in general is encourage a local community, local leaders to help that particular man or woman. And I myself hosted uh, many um, candidates for fundraising. And I did not care whether he's a Democrat or he's a Republican. All we want to do is uh, promote our people who are originally from Bangladesh or our children or our, uh, you know, brothers or sisters. Whoever comes, uh, we should help uh, uh, as much as we can. But obviously, as a Povana uh, forum, we cannot endorse as a candidate, uh, as a Republican or as a Democrat. We uh, can obviously help a great uh, uh, way uh, to uh, encouraging our uh, local community, and we always do that. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Uh, actually, my, uh, my question was not that clear. It's not about the, uh, endorsing a Democrat or Republican uh, whether uh, you are a Democrat, I'm a Republican, that really doesn't matter. But how we can also take a subcommittee or take a standing committee, as you said, uh, kind of a, a catering uh, to the process of the educating ourselves. Because you realize even within the cultural organization or a local, regional, with a national federation, uh, still we have a huge duty to educate uh, ourselves. 
and within that platform uh, have you ever thought anything uh, just not to endorsing a candidate but educating in the political civil activism and the you know governance you know you you have a legal uh, degree you have a law degree and kind of policy matter procedure and you know understanding the law and regulations mohammed uh, yeah thank you yes we as i said we have a, a mainstream uh, committee and obviously we could not explore as much as we wanted because uh, all those committees uh, tenure is only one year so uh, it is kind of tough uh, to uh, accomplish um, uh, everything in one year. But yes, uh, to uh, answer your question, we have uh, a process that um, um, uh, how we can uh, explore uh, our uh, Fubana's activities to mainstream and also how we can uh, train our uh, people to get into uh, local or national politics and we'll explore that and this is one of my goal also if i become uh, the chairman of fubana we'll explore that area as a result that our young generation can explore and can be disciplined and can be more uh, prone to the uh, national or local politics i mean that is uh, one of our goal that we are harboring for a long time Thank you so much, Mr. Muhammad Alungir. I know tomorrow you have a very long day, big day. And out of all this time, you just came out and uh, give this time. Dear viewers, this is the gentleman who is running for the chairman of the FOBANA, the Federation of Bangladesh Association in North America. I wish you much more good luck. What would be your final message to your executive committee members, those voters? Uh, what's your pleading uh, to uh, vote for you? Well, I, all I would say is that we want to work with the uh, Bangladeshi community uh, more deeply and we want to do welfare of our community, as you mentioned, that we need to get uh, involved more to mainstream. And uh, obviously, my best uh, effort will be uh, to uh, educate and, uh, you know, uh, get uh, our young generation more interested and also our uh, take initiative to uh, uh, to unite all the Bangladeshi community and faction together. That is one of uh, uh, one of the goals that I will have have uh, accomplished uh, if I become the chairman of Fobana. Absolutely, I wish you much more good luck and hopefully uh, day after tomorrow, uh, go ahead do your all caucus, all your hard work tomorrow with your executive meetings. And on the 28th, uh, on the 29th, uh, that's your election. Uh, yeah. I, uh, on behalf of Millennium TV, we wish you good luck. And also the uh, Bangabandhu Parishad USA, we want to give you the shout out. Uh, have a wonderful day. Go ahead, uh, you know, get it home and have a victory, uh, Mr. Muhammad uh, uh, Alungir. Thank you, Dr. Rabbi Alam. I uh, appreciate your uh you inviting me in this uh, uh, program and thank you so much thank you god bless you dear viewers uh, have a wonderful night and we'll come back again one of the other time with that uh, mr muhammad alungir we want to congratulate you in advance that you're going to have a victory god bless you take care of yourself good night